And now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Pili. Aloha here. Good evening, everybody. Looking at a beautiful shot of a sunset over the Waianae Mountain Range. Checking out the weather threat index for tomorrow. Usually, when we see all green lights, that's like awesome. But when we're talking about low winds, not so awesome. Now, that's really super low winds, at least for me. It's going to be pretty hot across the state. Now, right now, EK Manava, the winds are pretty much single digits for the most part. Right now, with the exception of both Lanai and Maui, with lower ends of those double digit numbers. Now, for the rest, of the state single digits and that's as you can see these squiggly lines moving in more of that southwestern direction and on the western side of the state kind of a big mess when we're talking about those winds and that's because of the low pressure system on the northwest end of Kauai and that's going to be moving up north slowly but but as it does that we learned this through the whole hurricane experiences low pressure systems spin in a counterclockwise direction so as it's going to be moving it's going to be pushing that moisture closer to Kauai possibly even Oahu so that's where all that additional moisture that could lead to rain but also can lead to humidity that's what that's going to be coming from and that's why we have that round of light and variable winds now we're going to see this possibly to Wednesday maybe Thursday again those models that we're looking at aren't very much in agreement so that possibly could even lead to the weekend where the trade winds are going to be returning so keep those water bottles and of course those fans pretty close and handy but as we're looking at the globe and in the satellite we're looking across uh, the, to the eastern Pacific where we do see at least at this point just one disturbance south of Mexico and within the next two days a 50% chance of a formation and that number increases to 90 within the next five days so we'll be sure to keep you informed now looking at the rains across for the past 24 hours it's been pretty light very scattered here on Oahu is topping off the charts on the eastern side in Punulu'u at 1.45 inches now with these light and variable winds we can also see an increase in those afternoon showers and as you can see the Kona slopes especially is going to see increase of those afternoon showers because of those sea breezes and as you can see Pahala topping off the charts the charts for Ko uh, the island of Hawaii and this is that moisture moving in and all that bands of moisture so we're going to start to see that increase of rainfall tomorrow and Tuesday checking out our Heenalu our surfer on the islands north and south shore one two three west shore flat to two and east shore two to four now looking at the Hawaiian moon phase for tonight is known as hoku things are changing a bit for you fishermen a good night to go fishing for you farmers a good night to plant kalo uala which is sweet potato ma uh, maia which is banana and also other types of root plants and real fast looking at the days ahead of us a humid patch of course with cooler conditions right around the corner Kathy?